Hello everyone, Christine McKee here from the Emerging Technology Team. Let's take a closer look at how you can provide feedback on student video responses inside a topic in Flipgrid. So I've gone ahead and logged into my educator account and I'm going to open the group where I will find the topic that my students have been responding to. I'm going to click on the topic and notice that I can see the students who have submitted video so far. I can see that Joseph and Josh have both submitted their video responses to the daily check-ins topic. Notice that both of their videos are currently hidden. That's because this is a moderated topic. That means that their responses will not automatically show up inside the topic for their classmates to see. I can go ahead and leave feedback for Joseph and Josh by simply clicking on their videos to get started. Let's open up Joseph's video. All right, so once I've opened Joseph's video, I could go ahead and watch the entire video and then provide feedback specifically to Joseph. Now, I can provide either text comments or video feedback. The reason I have both options is because when I created the topic in topic settings, I chose to allow video comments as well as text-based comments. Now, I can provide a text comment or feedback to Joseph, and I can choose if I want it to be a public comment. This means that if his video were to go live inside the topic for his classmates to see, They'd also be able to see the text comment or the feedback that I've given here. Or I can click to set it to private comment. Let's go ahead and give Joseph a private comment or feedback. All right, once I've typed the comment or feedback, I'm going to double check that it's set to private so that this feedback stays between Joseph and myself. And then I'm going to go ahead and click send to send this comment to Joseph. Notice that it appears below inside his video. Now, in addition to being able to provide text-based comment, remember I mentioned that I can also provide video feedback. When I click the video camera icon, it's going to launch the amazing Flipgrid camera. Notice that as a teacher, I have the ability to record up to 10 minutes of video-based feedback for my student. Notice that I also have all of the effects as well as some of the latest features in the Flipgrid camera, including backdrops. And I could go ahead and record video-based feedback for Joseph. Once I've provided feedback to my student, by either adding a text comment or recording a video, I can decide if I'm going to leave their video hidden or if I'm going to make it active in the topic. In this case, because I want Joseph's classmates to see and hear his video response, I'm going to go ahead and make it active. Now, as I return to my daily check-ins topic as a teacher, Notice that I can see that one comment has been provided for Joseph and one comment has been provided for Josh. And I can see that I have made both videos active. Again, how my students are going to receive their feedback is by going to my.flipgrid.com and signing in with their ECSD credentials in order to see the videos that they've submitted and any feedback that has been provided for them.